Hello, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about moment of torque and evenness when re-engineering a rib scale. There are several guiding principles that I use, but these two eliminate two common mistakes and are easy to fix. So let's get started. So on this screen, you see on the left where all the data is entered. All I do is I enter the height, width, and length as in the previous video and then the computer calculates section modulus, moment of torque, and stress. So moment of torque is the mechanical advantage gained by a lever. So for example, rib number 13, which is nine and a quarter inches long, when you place a one pound weight on there, it will produce two pounds of rotational torque. And you can see from ribs six and seven, because they are longer, that that same one pound of weight produces 12 pounds of rotational torque. Experience has shown me from my study of over 200 soundboards that 12 pounds of torque is just too much. And so what I do is I re-engineer the ribs, which usually means just shortening them, so that the maximum is 11 pounds of torque. I have noticed on some old boards that when they followed this principle and they had a light down bearing load that they seem to survive time very well. Okay, next let's talk about evenness. So now you see the before and after charts. Uh, the top chart is the length and section modulus curves. They should match. And as you can see in the original, they do not. Now this is just something that makes sense to me, that a short rib should be small and a long rib should be bigger. But in older pianos, this is rarely the case. The stress curve is the most important. It's really the goal of the other graphs. The stress should be a nice, smooth, even curve, and therefore the stresses are even across the whole panel of the soundboard. Uh, in every piano that I come across, the stress curves are, again, all over the place. And I think that's clearly a mistake. So there you go. Those are two things that I usually fix on every soundboard. The first one helps the soundboard last much longer. And the second one evens out the stresses in the board and improves the tone greatly. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.